Thanks for holding me and my presentation here. Uh, I would like to present about simulated dig digital rail from plant flow railway plannings to sumo simulations. So basically, I'm talking in a short summary about a conversion from a, a planning tool um, of Deutsche Bahn to sumo to actually uh, operate these plans. A very quick introduction to save a time here. Um, we are the operating systems and middleware group of the Hassel Partner Institute. We're focusing our research on hardware architecture, telemedicine, and digital rail, and also doing teaching in this. Our heat is uh, Professor Andreas Polsi would love to, love to be here, but he's currently in a lecture. So maybe he joins in a few minutes. Okay, so what are we doing in our um, digital rail um, department? Um, so our current research focus is test automation. So um, <clears throat> the railway domain is getting more and more digital. And this means also that devices and processes and so on are getting more and more digital. digital. And this introduces a very new complexity of um, these processes and the devices and existing systems, especially when we want to guarantee interoperability and conformity. Um, since new standards in this domain, um, the field of, of manufacturers and so on is not just close anymore to Siemens, Thales, or whatever, but it's also getting more and more broader and broader, and you can mix up devices. And so this problem of interoperability and conformity tests um, is getting more and more uh, important. Um, and our idea is to solve this problem, to automate this problem, to actually operate um, planet a railway station or existing railway station, um, which means that um, we take a planning of a, of a railway station and say, okay, this signal comes from manufacturer A, this, uh, uh, this um, point comes from manufacturer B, and this uh, axle counter is another one. And then we operate these, uh, this planning means we simulate it. And we're running trains through these network and look at the, um, at the devices and how they are communicating. Is everything working? Is the signal showing the correct, um, correct signs and so on and so on. And this is our idea how to automate these, um, these interoperability and conformity tests. <clears throat> and as a basis, we want to use PlanPo. PlanPo. Sorry. PlanPo is a digital format, a data format containing all details about a planet railway network. So if Deutsche Bahn is, is now um, planning a new railway station and a minor one, which is planned in uh, PlanPo is uh, Stuttgart 21. Um, and so they're starting with this and then all these details about the new station, all the railway infrastructure details are planned in this format. So this is a very huge file in the end, uh, containing a lot of XML based code, telling uh, how's the topology of this network, how are the um, locations of exact points and signals and so on. Um, how can trains operate through this network and all these things are planned in this single file format and it's a single file. And this is our basis for test automation. So we're taking this file and say, okay, let's get all the interesting details for test automation out of this file and just uh, operate the network. Um, how to get these files? It's pretty, um, it's not so easy to actually get plant profiles. The one way is the um, industry way with Prozac and Covi. These are uh, common industry tools and can export the plan pool. Um, these plannings have a lot of details. You can see it on the left side, a plan pool planning um, containing um, all geography data and everything in there. But for test automation, we just need a, a bit of this, like the topology and maybe some of the geographical data. So uh, we also developed the plant pool generator, this is on the right side, um, which is, has a lot of more extractions in there, but is generating valid plant pool files. So we can use this for test automation to create a lot of scenarios, different scenarios. From the left side, there are in Germany so far only a few scenarios available, like uh, in my mind, it's just three or four plants in plant pool. Um, on the right side, I can just generate an hour couple of them with all different situations. And yeah, this is open source. 
Um, to take this plan pool plannings, we want to uh, transfer it to uh, Zumo scenarios. And I think test automation is just one, um, one uh, core idea how we can use Zumo in this uh, loop. I think I don't have to motivate other ideas like um, simulating and um, getting schedules or verify or find bottlenecks and so on. I think you all know these use cases where you, you, uh, Zumo is useful for. So um, taking these plant profiles to Zumo is, is a nice idea to just say, okay, I have one additional uh, plan pool planning for a future railway station and just, just test it and just see how the trains can operate in this plan pool planning. Um, and uh, we do not need to build any track. We do not need to build um, like, um, like some control and signaling infrastructure or so. We just can, can, just can do it out of the planning to just operate trains in this network. So to convert this, um, this planning to, to Zumo, um, we developed this pipeline and you probably know a few of these um, steps in there. These are used from the Zumo tool chain, but we added the plan for the Zumo converter, which is actually the core part of this presentation, uh, which extracts the interesting information out of the plan profile and convert it to Zumo plain XML. And then not con a net convert is creating the Zumo network. And then there's a last small step, which is um, packing all the things together to Sumo scenario, especially taking uh, routes uh, through the networks um, from, from either the planning, these are planet routes, or from generated ones. So um, we're also able to generate routes to get all routes through a network, not just um, these routes that the planner thinks that are interesting. And then in the end, there's a Sumo configuration, which can be um, ex simulated in Sumo. Um, a small dictionary about this, um, this conversion step. So top knoten, these are mostly uh, points and or uh, end, of, end of tracks. Um, these are converted to priority nodes, signals to railway signals. Um, edges are top kanten. Um, yeah, this, this format is uh, unfortunately in German. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Um, Geokanten producing shape coordinates for the edges or for the nodes like positions. Um, then we have uh, Fahrwege, which are converted to routes. In the end, um, we have more or less um, similar representation of the uh, plan planning in Sumo. Um, this has still some abstractions in there. Of course, it's, it's uh, ongoing research work there um, that, for example, um, a connection between two points or to between two geo nodes are currently interpreted as a straight, but um, planpo is, um, for example, defining as, as functions like arcs or cleotides, which is pretty common in this area. But so far, we're abstracting this one, and uh, we have to dig in more into this uh, in later stages. So the, the planet planning shows a bit, looks a bit more uh, flattened and a bit more uh, cornered than uh, the original one. Uh, a few changes during the development. Um, on the one hand side, we had to change the um, the topology of this, uh, since we we have to um, tell that signals are not longer annotated to edges, but there are no points in this uh, or no nodes in this network. This is not a complex thing, but you can maybe believe me that this is pretty annoying work to change the topology of this. Uh, since Planpo is, uh, has a huge um, reference architecture in there. So a lot of, of things are referenced to each other with uh, IDs. And um, this leads to, to very confusing uh, code elements there. And the other uh, challenges I want to mention here is uh, the distance from the start um, of the edge to and relatively to the point where it's starting. And now we need exact positions of a node. And so we have to interpolate there, uh, especially since we're abstracting the, um, the kind of, of, um, of geo edges, what I told you before with uh, the straight instead of, of arcs and so on. So this is uh, also one of the challenges we had to solve here. Um, 
but yeah, in the end, it's it's pretty straightforward to run or to to implement this uh, converter. Um, then I somehow my presentation today wants to. Oh yeah, okay. Um, I talked about generating routes already, so we're able to not take just the planned ones. We're also uh, able to generate new routes um, so that we can cover all possible scenarios in there. And this is a, a depth first search in, in the um, on the topology of the plan pro planning um, with the modified neighbor function. Um, and it's uh, in the end, it's resulting all routes from start signal to the end signal and at the edges in between. To run these scenarios, um, we develop a test controller, which is actually able to um, start the tracing connection to the sumo simulation and then say, okay, that please create me a train on this, or I have a schedule um, that wants to drive from station A to station B, from platform one to platform uh, two. Um, and it's it's uh, keeping a track of our, all the elements in there. It's setting the signals, it's moving the points virtually, um, and then it actually runs the trains over Tracy. I, I'm going to demonstrate it to you now. So a quick demo on this. Um, to actually run the converter, um, this is a pretty uh, short thing. Uh, it's just running a Python script um, with the uh, file name of the plan profile. In this case, we usually take Scheibenberg. Scheibenberg is a, a test field in, Lower, in, in Saxony for digital rail. And this is also the railway station that you saw in the pictures before. So there's a lot of output there, but in the end we got a success. How does it look like? Um, so I I want to show you the plan pool planning as a out uh, as a as a source. Sorry, this is the thing that I haven't prepared. I'm very sorry for that. Um, so this is actually the plan pool planning the input. And I, I flattened it a bit, but as you may see at the numbers on the left side, this is a huge thing. So this contains all the details about Scheibenberg and Scheibenberg is actually a pretty small railway station. So for example, I can now search for um, signal and I get a signal here, uh, which track is located to at which position. Um, and so on and so on, and what kind of signal is it, and so on. Um, yeah, this small example of just four tracks and a few points and signals already have 60,000 lines of code. So yeah, this is pretty extensive, this uh, format. So this converter now takes this plan profile and creates the typical Zumo files of it. So we have a node list, we have an edge list, uh, we have connections. Then netconvert is producing the Zumo network out of this. And together with the routes, uh, which is also uh, created by the um, by the uh, tool, um, we're getting um, all routes through this network. In this case, the planet ones, and then the sumo configuration uh, looks like this. So we can run sumo here, and we can start our test controller. And this is actually Scheibenberg. And if you look, um, this is the, the Sumo version of it. And if you look, hopefully you can see it now on the official planning, this is the, the tool to, visual, uh, to visualize plan pool plannings. This looks pretty similar, except the, the thing what I said before, the arcs and the cluteids and so on. And now we can say, okay, load schedule Scheinberg of its yeah, schedule.json and say run, and this is now starting a train on the uh, top right corner here. It's probably pretty small. And this is now driving through this virtual station here from uh, Schlettau, which is uh, on this end of the track to Scheibenberg, which is here in the middle one. And it's now going to hold on this one and uh, the test controller. I skipped this a bit, this is pretty, a pretty, um, massive tool containing a lot of, of uh, details about this, um, about managing these railway networks and uh, can also have some evaluation steps like detecting bottlenecks and so on. But um, the focus of this is the converter. 
Um, and now this, this simulation is running based on the plan for plannings. So all the things I did is taking this planning and convert it to Zumo and load a schedule and simulate this. Um, let's go back to the presentation. So what we're going to use it, um, on the one hand side, we have a test bed, an IoT test bed containing co-simulation of Sumo and NS3. So this test bed, Marvis, is able to run Docker containers or doing hard and we're in the loop and so on. It has some folding action capabilities. And with this test bed, we can say, okay, this um, device here is a is the Excel counter, and this is the Docker container containing to this Excel counter. Um, this device is a, um, a point, and we actually have object controllers of points in our lab. And so we can just say, okay, let's run this point. Um, and then this testbed is able to do some falling action here. Another idea is the Unix Live Lab, which is developed mostly by my colleague, Robert Schmidt, um, which is more on the hardware side and exchanging protocols in between. And But also there could be this train simulation pretty useful to do this interoperability and conformity tests. On the next steps, um, we want to extract more data of the plan profile because there's still a lot of details in there which we can use in, in Sumo, like overlaps and so on. Um, we want to extend the geography uh, to be more precise and um, connect the execution environment to a full test environment. So taking Sumo as part of a co-simulation uh, to actually do this interoperability and conformity tests. So in summary, uh, the plan profile contains um, a lot of detail about uh, present and future railway networks uh, direct, uh, directly from the uh, planner side. This is the new standard for full digital planning processes uh, away from paper-based. And to be able to run um, railway station in pretty early stages of planning, we converted, uh, we developed a, a pipeline to convert plan pool plannings to Zumo to actually simulate this. And in the end, this test controller um, has a lot of, of uh, capabilities uh, to uh, evaluate this planning. So thank you.